chapter 16 our environment ecology is the study of the options are option a interaction of plants in the environment interaction of plants and animals with each other option c interaction of biotic and abiotic factors what is ecology ecology it is the study of interaction of biotic and abiotic factors that is biotic means living and abiotic means non non living factors okay so ecology it is a branch of science that deals with the study of interaction of biotic and abiotic factors so option c is the answer Biotic environment consists of the options are option A living things, option B non living things and option C both A and B. Biotic environment means that is definitely living environment. So biotic environment consists of living things. So option A is the answer. The same way abiotic environment means they consist of non living things. Okay. So biotic environment consists of living things is the answer. So option A is the answer. Soil, water bodies, air and climatic factors combine together to make the options are option A biotic environment, option B abiotic environment and option C both. See soil is a non-living thing, water bodies it is a non-living factor and air it is also non-living and climatic factors it is also non-living. That means these are all the non-living factors. They combine to make what? They combine to make definitely abiotic environment. So option B is the answer. Abiotic factors do not include the options are option A bacteria, option B soil and option C temperature. Abiotic means non-living factors. So abiotic factors include non-living things. Okay. And here the question is among these three which do not included in abiotic factors. See bacteria it is a living thing. So it is not included in abiotic factor. Bacteria is a biotic factor. But soil and temperature they are non-living. So they are the abiotic factors and bacteria is a biotic factor. Which group is not a component of biotic factor? The options are option A plants and animals, option B microorganisms and scavengers, option C sun and light. So which among these three is not a component of biotic factor? You know biotic factor means it includes living things. And here the question is which is not a component of biotic factor. See plants and animals, they are living things so they are included in biotic factors. Microorganisms and scavengers, they are also living things so they are also included in biotic factors. But as far as the sun and the light, they are non-living things so they are abiotic so they are not included in biotic factors. So the answer is option C, sun and light which is not a component of biotic factors. Okay, so option C is the answer. Which of these components is not used by plants to make food? The options are option A sunlight, option B carbon dioxide and option C oxygen. Which among these components is not used by plants to make food? See sunlight it is definitely important for a plant to make food. Carbon dioxide it is also important for a plant to make food. Then which is not used? Oxygen is not used by the plant to make food. Okay, so option C oxygen is the answer. Plants are also called the options are option A autotrophs, option B heterotrophs and option C decomposers. Plants they are definitely called as autotrophs because autotrophs are those which prepare their own food. Plants they prepare their own food with the help of photosynthesis. So plants are also called autotrophs. What are heterotrophs? Heterotrophs are, are those which depend on other animals for their food. They are heterotrophs. Okay, depend on others for their food. They are heterotrophs. And decomposers, they feed on the dead and decaying matters. They are decomposers. And here plants are called autotrophs because they prepare their own food. So option A, autotrophs is the answer. Primary consumers are, the options are option A, omnivorous, option B, carnivorous and option C, herbivorous. Primary consumers, they are definitely herbivorous. Primary consumers are herbivorous. Herbivorous means they eat only, they feed on only the plants. And omnivorous means they feed both plants and animals. Carnivorous, they feed only on animals. Okay. And the primary consumers are always herbivorous. Okay. Bacteria, fungi and virus are, the options are option A, parasites, option B, decomposers and option C, scavengers. Bacteria, fungi and virus, they are, 
decomposers okay all these are decomposers that means they feed on the dead and decaying matters okay so they are decomposers what is food web the options are option a network of food chain option b spider web and option c spoiled food what is a food web food web is the network of food chain network of food chain is called as food web so option a is the answer parasites or organisms which take food options are option a by eating plants option b by eating insects